Hi. Now in an earlier tutorial I showed you that if you had x to the power minus n it was equivalent to 1 divided by x to the power n. So for instance if you had say 3 to the minus 2 that meant according to this rule that it was 1 over 3 to the power 2. 1 over 3 squared. In other words 1 ninth. But what I want to do now is extend this not to just integer values, whole numbers, to a negative power, but to fractions. I mean, suppose we had, say, two-thirds to the power minus two. What would that mean? Well, my x, if you like, is the two-thirds. And the n is the power two. So, according to the rule, this will be 1 divided by 2 thirds, my x value, to the power n, n being now 2. And if I've got a fraction to a power, then this is exactly the same as doing each of these two numbers to that power. So, in other words, 2 to the power 2, 2 squared, divided by 3 squared. Now in order to simplify this, some of you might say, oh, all you've got to do is turn the fraction upside down and multiply. And that would give you 3 squared over 2 squared. But I must admit, I always think that's a kind of dirty method, if you like. What we do with fractions is we essentially times it by 1. It doesn't alter the value, okay? But it's how we form this 1. And in something like this, if we take that one as being the 3 squared, we can times top and bottom by 3 squared. And what it does for us is change it to 1 times 3 squared, which is 3 squared. And when it comes to 2 squared over 3 squared times this 3 squared, these two would cancel out and just leave you with the 2 squared. So I prefer really to talk about it in that way rather than just turning it upside down and multiply. Okay, well we can simplify this. Because both of these are to the power 2, we can write this as 3 over 2 to the power 2. Now the purpose of doing this was to demonstrate a simple rule. That if I had done this algebraically with say a over b, to the power minus n followed exactly the same kind of idea, then we end up with this rule. That if you've got, say, a over b to the power minus n, all you need to do is turn the fraction upside down, which is b over a, and then instead of having minus n, just put n. So you can see when we had 2 thirds to the minus 2, turn it upside down you get 3 over 2 and switch the sign on the power so from minus 2 switch the sign to 2 so this is a rule that I would encourage you to learn for negative powers when they're on fractions because if you can remember that rule it will save you having to do all this all the time so let's just give you another example so for instance, if we had 3 quarters to the power minus 3, say, rather than doing all this, what this reduces down to is turn the fraction upside down, so we have 4 thirds, switch the power from a minus 3 to 3. And if you work that out, you've got 4 cubed, which is 4 times 4 times 4, 64, and 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So you've got 64 27 Here's another one. When you get fractions to the power minus 1, say, switch the um, fraction upside down. So instead of 2 fifths, that becomes 5 over 2. Change from a negative power to a positive power. 5 over 2 to the power 1, though, is just simply 5 over 2. So hopefully then this rule 
should save you having to do all of this. Well, okay, that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.